My friends, today we are celebrating Hanukkah. As a rule, our festival commemorates events in history that affect our people. And today is no exception. We are celebrating the festival of Hanukkah. But what exactly is Hanukkah? According to historical tradition recorded in the Apocrypha, the book of Maccabees 1, chapter 4, Judah the Maccabees, after defeating Lysias and his army, entered Jerusalem and purified the temple. The altar had been defiled, was demolished, and a new one was erected. Judah then made a new, a new holy vessel, among them a menorah, and a new altar. He said the 25th of Kislev as the date for the rededication of the temple. And that's why one of the reasons is known as Hanukkah. Hanukkah. They rested on the 25th. This day is also coincided with the proclamation of the restrictive ethics of Antiochus Epiphanes. Three years earlier, when he had decreed a pig should be offered on the altar. Offering a pig on the altar of the Lord enraged the faithful of Israel. Defiling the temple was an act which could not be tolerated. Hence, the priest Matthias and his family led the revolt against this tyranny and a decisive victory was won by the Maccabees. The new altar was consecrated with the renewal of the daily sacrificial service accompanied by the chanting of the Hallel. The celebration lasted for eight days and Judah decreed that they should be designated as days of rejoicing for future generations. It is interesting to note that the book of Maccabees does not record at all the miracle of the oil used in the menorah. The book is concerned with the battlefield. On the other hand, the Talmud in Tractate Shabbat appears to ignore the great victory of the Maccabees. And so the Talmud asks, what is Hanukkah? Why do we celebrate it? To this question, the rabbis reply that the priest could not rededicate the temple and their victory as the oil of the menorah had been, had been defined. The Talmud goes on to say that a small bottle of oil was found untouched by the enemy and this small quantity of oil that was only sufficient for only one day burned for eight solid days. Hence the celebration of Hanukkah. These, brief, these briefly are the two answers given in the book of Maccabees and the Talmud respectively. To the author of the book of Maccabees what matter is the national independence of our people, in other words, to be free in our land and not to be subjected to any foreign power? To the Talmud, however, the miracle of the oil was more important than the physical victory 
which was won by the Maccabees. To the Talmud, the miracle of the oil was a sign that God was watching over his people and this, and this was the whole purpose of having the menorah in the temple. As our rabbis explained, as long as the flame of the menorah was burning, it was a sign that there was peace between God and his people. It is therefore the victory of the Spirit which we are celebrating, not the physical one. Studying these two answers in the light of modern Israel, one will see that the state of Israel is fragmented between the religious Jews and the seculars. The religious will, not, will, will no doubt say that the Talmud's answer is the correct one. It is a miracle of the oil and all it represents that we are celebrating. For the essence of Judaism is the practice of the mitzvot. According to this opinion, Judaism is entirely independent of country or territorial consideration. On the other hand, to the secularists, the victory of the Maccabees is the reason for celebrating Hanukkah. To them, the conception of Judaism is not a religious faith, but rather a national idea. To them, Judaism of nationality is greater and more important than a religious Judaism. But let us now pause and think. Which of the two concepts is the correct one? Is it the Talmud's answer or that of the book of Maccabees? It is most interesting to note that Maimonides in his book Mishneh Torah incorporated the Talmud reasoning with that of the book of the Maccabees. In other words, to Maimonides, both concepts are correct. The miracle of the oil as well as the physical victory are indeed one unit. They are almost inseparable and each one complements the other. Judaism survived better in an independent land free from all oppression. <coughs> As was the case during the period of Hanukkah, when Israel became free from the oppression of its enemy. It is therefore our duty during this period to pray to God so that Shalom will prevail, so that we can bridge the gap between the religious and the secularists. For only by bridging the gap can Israel and the world Jewry go from Mechayil and Chayil from strength to strength.